your first miracle was in a wedding, we ask that in the same way your presence may be with us here today as we join Guy and Destiny. Lord, we thank you for our parents, for brothers and sisters and friends that came today to seal this day in your presence. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' holy name. And everybody said... Amen. 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 The password, the key word is love. Love, 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 love. If you squeeze the Bible, Old and New Testament, what do you get out of that squeezing? Love. Isn't that amazing? Jesus summed up the whole Bible, the whole Christianity in one word. Love. Love God over everything. Love your neighbor as yourself. Even love your enemies. Right? So this is the word of the day. Guy and destiny. You guys are in the right place. In the right time. I like when the Bible says God is love. One day someone asked, how does God look like? And the answer, someone answered, God is love. Can you give an image to love? Love has no image, right? God is a spirit. And then he says that God is light. So if you put together love and light, those who are full of love, they're full of light. We have this day of love today. It's because one day our Lord Jesus Christ loved us to the uttermost. He is the fountain, 
And because of him, we have this. And guess what? He was the one who invented this moment. He was the one who invented marriage and love. Thank you, Pastor Paul. It's a privilege to be up here um, with you. Um, Guy and Destiny, I um, just want to share a couple words and then we'll get on. I know you wanna, you're want to. you anxious to get on with the, the ceremony and saying the I do's, but I just want to share a couple things. Um, during our premarital counseling, uh, we had a question on the, we have a long questionnaire. It's, uh, what is it, like 10 or 12 pages, and asks you basically everything you could think of. And uh, one of the questions on there was, uh, have you ever seen a picture of a godly marriage? And both of you uh, put Pastor Paul's marriage, and so that is a blessing to be up here with my brother. Um, and uh, what I just want to remind you of is what marriage is about, is love and a picture of the gospel. And a reminder that you guys are, uh, in this moment, preaching a sermon. We're speaking, but this moment is you guys for the rest of your lives being a living sermon of God's love for His people in Jesus Christ. And uh, we prayed in the car on the way over for you all. Prayed that you all for the rest of your lives would be just such a beautiful demonstration of the gospel and what God has done for us. Um, you're entering into a new life, new relationship. Your relationships with other people are going to change a little bit. You both have a new best friend. Spiritually, your best friend is Jesus, but humanly speaking, your new best friend, Destiny, is Guy, and Guy, your new best friend, is Destiny, your BFFs, all right? And uh, I want you to remember this moment. I want you to, to look, literally, look behind you. Um, it's too bad you couldn't find a, a, some people who wanted to be in your wedding party. Uh, look, look, look at these, these folks here with you. Look at the congregation, these folks who are gathered. Look at Pastor Paul and myself. You have people who love you Amen. and who want to support you and want to see your marriage thrive as a picture of the gospel. Don't ever forget that. Amen. Because marriage gets hard. It does. It, it, it will get hard. And you know that. I think you, you, you know that. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be hard sometimes. And don't try to do it alone. Don't do it without God's help and don't do it without the help of people who love you in Christ and are there for you. We're there for you. Don't forget that. Um, we get to do the, the fun part now. The ceremony. Okay. He's breathing. I, I, I felt his pulse earlier. It was about 200. I don't even know if that's possible, but I tell him. It, it really was. Um, so we're going we're gonna to say some vows, and you're going to make some promises to one another. And what you're going to be doing now is, is just radically countercultural. Um, it's going to be an opportunity to set a, a heritage for generations to come and, and to, to say, this is what God intended in marriage. And, and I'm just so excited, um, so excited for what God's doing in you and will be doing in you and through you. Um, and so I want to read one scripture, Paul's words to the Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 and following. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body. And this is what I want you all to remember. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great. And I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. Guy, do you take destiny to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony. To love her. To comfort her. To honor her and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others to keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live. Yes. <laughs> That's the right answer. Yes. Destiny, do you take guy to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of marriage to submit to him to love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others to keep yourself only for Him, so long as you both shall live. God, would you repeat after me? 
I, I guy, take you destiny. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's sacred command. Destiny, would you repeat after me? I, Destiny, take you, God, to be my wedded husband. It's okay. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love, cherish, and obey. Till death do us part, according to God's holy command. Destiny with this ring, I marry you. And I give everything I have in this world to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Destiny, do you have a ring as a symbol of your love and affection? Destiny, please take the ring and put it on the fourth finger of Guy's left hand. And repeat after me. Guy, with this ring, I marry you. And I give everything I have in this world to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guy and Destiny, by the power given to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you man and wife. Guy, you need to take that veil off. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Guy Gerald.